Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Zanata Consulting tutorial series. This is how to create a dynamic document inside of Zoho CRM. So what do I mean by dynamic document? Well, let's kind of dig in. So I have a uh, deal here for Acme, uh, and it is a 20 hour proposal for their very first SOW. And, and this is actually our real deal page. So you kind of go through and you can fill this in. Where do they see us? Uh, what the name of the company is, who our key contact is. In this case, it's Wiley Coyote over there at Acme. Um, what do they do? How many employees they have? Um, what they do? They build obstacle courses. Uh, everything's on paper is their big problem. Um, development per our SOW. And here's what they want. This is going to be real important. They want a support portal. They want uh, us to do discovery. It's going to be client directed. We're going to set up Zoho One. We're going to do some data migration and we're going to set up their CRM for them. Um, we're going to estimate it's going to take 20 to 40 hours. I'm sending this out on the 6th and I expect that they'll have it signed and we'll start work for them on the 3rd. Here's the amount. Here's the hourly rate. And here's how many hours are in this project. Now, uh, all of these are fields that you can pull into a document. So you've never done mail merge before. You actually can go back into your templates. You click on settings and you go into templates. And then you go look at mail merge. Um, you can basically set up these mail merge documents. So this is just a regular Zoho Writer document. You have all of the controls that you would normally expect right over here. Um, where you can set everything up. You also have all the fields you can do. So you've got all these merge fields that you can go ahead and set up and you can pull any of these in. So as you can see here, I'm pulling in the proposal date and the contact name. And it's very simple. It's just a matter of clicking on any of these and dropping it in. So if I wanted to drop the account name in here, I could double click, well, I double click twice, I could single click. And you can see that the account name would come in. You can actually add these fields very easily as you're filling things out. And if I scroll down a little further, you will see I've got the start date and the begin and the end date, which is going to be the completion of this. But here's where it gets kind of interesting. I there are since we are Zoho partners, as you know, Zoho has over 50 applications. So if you see all of these, this is just kind of the basic stuff we would do for all of the Zoho applications. So all of the applications are in here. But uh, as we talked about, if you go ahead and we look at this, our our page for our potential opportunity here. We'll go over to Acme. If I go over to this page for this opportunity, you'll notice that it is, um, we're just doing support portal, discovery, client directed, Zoho One, data migration, and CRM. So you can actually only pull in the sections to your proposal you want by using if and then statements. So let me blow, blow this up a little bit. So what this says, if, and then I'm throwing in the deals.deliverable contains the word discovery, then I want you to drop this in. And basically we're gonna end, end the statement and do, do the ifs. So it's very, very straightforward. You just kind of have to follow this overall format. And we're gonna go ahead and post this in the notes, but then this just continues again. So, you know, if this has Zoho One in it, then we're going to go ahead and do that. And it goes on and on and on for each and every section. It's basically these simple if statements. You end the if, then you do another if. Um, so by basically following this format, you can make your entire proposal dynamic. So let's go back over to our fake little deal here for Wiley Coyote. And you can basically go ahead and say, I want to do a mail merge. So you're going to go up to the three little dots in the upper right-hand corner, and you're going to select mail merge. And then it's going to ask you what you want to do. I'm going to do this, the 2021 proposal, and I'm going to go ahead and click merge. And what that's going to do is open up a new page and pull in that merge document that we were looking at over in templates that we've created. And then you can just go ahead and run this merge. And you'll see all the fields in here, including all the if thens. When I say run merge, it's going to go through and just pull in the fields that we want or those sections that we want because of the if then statements or the if statements that we had there. So now you can see the document has been properly filled in. It's got all the proper dates, it's got the person's name, uh, it's got the start date, the completion date, and it has just pulled in these sections, discovery, 
Zoho One. You know, and sometimes you'll want to look, you'll see this, this didn't come through properly. So you will want to pay, pay attention. Uh, and, you know, also when we do these, while it's great to have a template, sometimes there's changes you'll want to make to it. So this gives you a chance to edit this document. But again, Discovery Zoho One, Client Directed, CRM, data migration with some things to fill in and support portal. Uh, all just the sections that we selected are pulled in. And makes it really, really easy to create beautiful dynamic documents. You can have images in here. You can create entire pages that you're pulling in dynamically as well. Uh, all the pricing gets pulled in. Uh, pretty much everything across the board is done here. So a great way to uh, go ahead and automate a lot of your proposals, especially if, you know, if you've got different sections, different clauses that you want to pull in. Uh, this is just a super nice, easy way to do it. We'll post that little bit of code here at the bottom of the YouTube channel so that you can just go ahead and get going with your if statements and merge those documents away. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, go ahead and click subscribe on that YouTube channel or head over to our website, scroll down to the bottom of the page and uh, subscribe to our newsletter where we have tips and tricks every single week. And we also tell you all the latest Zoho news. Thanks so much for listening.